Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. In today's tutorial, we're gonna cover a very powerful AI tool that will help you design and allow you to use that design in your Flutterflow app. Before I get started, remember to comment, like, and subscribe for more content on Flutterflow. In addition, if you ever need any assistance, uh, remember to contact me. The tool we're using is called Stitch and it's created by Google. And once you sign up, which is free of charge, you there are examples provided. So there's an example here is a board game um, planner where there are multiple screens here built by already the AI itself um, and to you can visualize and see it. And of course you can copy directly to Figma, the frame, or you can edit. But I'm gonna, let's, uh, let's start from the beginning where we will be using our own prompt to build a mobile app. So the beauty of this is that you don't have to be a designer, but you do have to be a good prompter to a certain degree. So let's build our own prompt and then submit it. So I've created a very high level prompt, create a social media app where users can share one update per day, have a profile page and have a chat page. Very basic um, social media app, probably very beginning for a lot of social media platforms out there. And let's see what it comes out with when I press generate designs. So it took a few moments, but firstly Stitch will ask you, hey, these are the pages I'm generating, profile page and chat page. And I was like, hey, you're missing one more page, a social feed page. And, and I say, hey, generate it all. And then it basically generated a profile page, it generated a chat page, it generated a social media page. And of course you can edit this further. So you can click edit and tell uh, Stitch to change it further. Um, so for example, if I want to remove certain things or make certain things bigger, um, and, of and of course you can add more design, but like, hey, I need, I, need, I need a settings page. And then it will continue to um, generate more of it. So now I submitted a prompt and let's wait a little. And you can see here, it gave you a settings page. Basically the UI of uh, Stitch is kind of weird where everything is not together. So every new set of design, it's about the chat. You can access it via the chat. So this is the settings page or the main three pages we created. And this is the settings page. And you can see here, uh, you just got to scroll through them via the chat system. Anyway, so now it's generated. What do you want to do, right? Of course, you can copy this to Figma. You can edit it further, as I mentioned. But what we want to do here is really bring this into Flutterflow. And this is where it's very powerful. So as you know, Figma does have this um, HTML export functionality. However, that's on a paid plan. And um, if you cannot afford to pay a monthly fee for um, Figma, um, you can basically use this software to help you build uh, AI. I'll build a design from the beginning, especially if you have no design experience. So what you do here is basically click into the design, of course you can copy to Figma, but what you want here is to expose the code. And all you gotta do here is copy this, go back to Flutterflow, and then press the page generation tool. And all you gotta do is paste this in and press generate page. And here, what Flutterflow is doing is interpreting the code actually. It's not, impre it's not interpreting a descriptive text that you've prompted, but it's actually looking at the code, what you copied from Stitch itself. So all these, all these information, and then actually replicating it in Flutterflow. And now the page has generated in Flutterflow, you can see what it looks like. Let's click into it. And it looks pretty close to what we need. So let's insert the page. Um, let's call this profile page and let's see how it compares, right? So there's the circle photo here. Um, the path is currently empty, but I can easily just quickly get a uh, picture online from Pixum and just put it here. Just to show you what it looks like. And you can see here, it looks quite good in terms of replicating the design. Um, it failed to add some fun scrolling functionality, but let's, let's add it first. And let's compare this to what is shown on um, on Google Stitch software. So basically we can see here, this is what we want to generate. And this is pretty close. You see a profile page here in a row in a container. There's the image, there's the name, there's the text, and there's today's update. The padding wasn't perfect, but it's pretty close there. So I can just add a photo here. Um, it added some blue, con uh, blue container background. But if you scroll down, it looks pretty good. Like this is what Overall, the layout is there, and it seems like they've used a custom nav bar instead of a default nav bar. And of course, you can turn off safe area, so you can bring all these to the very top, don't bring this to the very bottom. 
So overall, you can convert this into a component, and this is a custom nav bar instead of using the default uh, nav bars offered by Flutterflow. So overall, like this is a really quick way to um, almost get design ideas from AI and then import it into Flutterflow really quickly. Um, so this is a very powerful tool. And of course, there's always limitation with AI. It's never perfect. It needs good prompts. In addition, Flutterflow sometimes needs to interpret the prompt, prompt well enough um, because the prompt was literally this set of code here, you can see here. And as always, um, I hope you try to leverage this tool as much as you can, whether it's you're stuck on a page, you don't have to design it, or you want to give an idea for the whole app. And then you want you to use AI to uh, build the design first before importing to Flutterflow. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and remember to comment, like, subscribe for more content on Flutterflow. And if you never need any assistance, contact me. Thanks. Bye.